I got a book review for you today, something that's going to interest a lot of you, which is a book called Game. This one is by Roosh V. So we'll put the link up here. And it is titled Game How to Meet, Attract, and Date Attractive Women. Kind of redundant there, but hey, you know what? That's that's what it is. This was a book that was recommended, well, not recommended necessarily, but a lot of you wanted to know what my opinion was on this book. And I'm familiar with Roosh V stuff. He has, you know, he's like a pickup artist, obviously, and he's kind of popular and famous in that arena, especially for saying provocative things that have gotten him banned in countries and writing books like Bang and, you know, bang for different countries and whatnot he's sort of like the the travel travel pickup artist guy i would say uh, in general so i expected this book to be quite descriptive and quite on the vulgar side which i was shocked when it wasn't actually unpleasantly shocked so let me explain here so okay so there are certain truths to how things work and how pick up and men and women and interactions work and whether you agree with them or not there's just certain truths okay and he hints on some he hits on some of those things but i felt like this book was a very watered down weak version of what the real truth behind these things are right so he presented a lot of really weak tactics and he almost wrote this book for 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 i want to say like I don't want to say millennials, but I kind of do, or even younger than that, like the next generation of castrated young men who can't handle the real truth and are live in a Me Too culture. That's basically what he what he wrote this book for, and and unfortunately, in doing that, he saved himself from I think a lot of flack. Although the book is banned on Amazon, strangely, like I although I got the audio version, which was not banned on Amazon. I can't imagine why they would ban this book when there's books that are way, way more descriptive and way more what you would call rape culture promoting or whatever that bullshit is, okay? So, I, I don't know, maybe he pulled it for publicity stunt or something, but it, it, it's kind of weak, right? So, some of the things that he advises, now, okay, in general, I agree with what he says in the book, okay, in general. but. His way, is it's just watered down. That's the best way I can describe it. So he talks about like do, like approaches. And there's some stuff I definitely agree, disagree with, okay? So he talks about approaches and like talking to women. And I, for a lot of you guys that are trying to learn some kind of pick up or game or overcome social anxiety, what he's recommending is like, I think he had like at one point like five approaches a week or something like that. And then take a break after 100 and take a two week break. That is not enough to get the job done. It's not gonna happen. Uh, believe me from someone who's done some coaching in this area and helping guys, that that's not nearly enough. Five in one night, it's not even enough. Like 10 in one night, now we're talking, now you're starting to get enough of the rejection, enough of the calibration to actually become successful and to develop a, an inoculization against the fear and actually develop some courage in this area. So. I think he even prescribed, he said, well, you know, if you can't, if you don't have time for the shit, then maybe even just once a week, and believe me, <laughs> once a week of approaching, you're, you're not going to do shit, you're not going to learn shit, it's just not enough, it's just not enough frequency, okay, in order to actually gain skill and advance yourself in this area, and to overcome, to build confidence, so... And that was the kind of first thing. He also places a huge emphasis on physical appearance, and basically coming to the conclusion that Certain girls that are at your level are the only ones that are going to be interested in you, and that's that's just how it is. And the whole point, I think, of game, of pickup, of all this, is really the idea that you could get women that are above the level that you would be deemed at at a physically attractive level. So that's sort of the purpose. And so when you you know when you just make it a numbers game, then yeah, I mean he's right. Yeah, if you go and approach you know a hundred women that are kind of at the same number scale that you're at, then you're gonna basically hit it off with some of them. So, makes sense, practical, but not actually using any kind of skill that would actually advance or, or make you better, okay? Again, I'm not a huge proponent of like straight pickup 
the the way I, a lot of it is focused on self development today anyway. So that's why I've been more accepting of it. But developing yourself as a person. It, which he talks about there, going to the gym, improving your appearance as much as possible. I agree with all that stuff, but he places a huge emphasis on it. At, and basically, you know, th coming to the conclusion that if a girl is not attracted to you from the get go, that she's not going to become attracted. And that's not quite accurate at all, right? That can easily be overcome. I don't think he actually believes this. By the way, I think he's just giving a watered down, like general to the masses type of advice so that he can avoid possibly getting in trouble, possibly people calling him, you know, saying that he's promoting a rape coach. I think he's just sick of the of the backlash that he's gotten. And so unfortunately, I, I hate when people do this. I feel like Robert Greene did this with his latest book with Law of Attraction. I was, you know, fuck the people that want to take you down. Like, if you cater to them and you watch what you say, you're just gonna get bullied more and you're gonna let them bully more people. Fuck that. Just say what you think and put it out there. And if it's gonna cause you some people that are gonna get butthurt about that, let them fucking be butthurt, don't apologize. All right, so I feel like, again, like like what he's done here, and I think this is the revised edition of his book, is he's basically watered down things, okay? So in general though, I mean, his practical advice on how to look better and that all men should go to the gym and to dress better and smell better and personal grooming, I agree. You don't need to devote a huge portion of a book on game and pick up about that, okay? You could just say, you know, do everything that you you should do there, and that should be self-explanatory. You can find that advice somewhere else. So, uh, and then, like I said, the emphasis on that is too great. It it shouldn't shouldn't matter. And then, you know, kind of intuitively, one of the things I have to disagree with him is about style. Him saying that the style part actually doesn't matter, which that's actually one of the most critical parts. <laughs> like you have to have that in, in place. Like if you walk into a place with a, a nice suit on you're gonna get a lot more attention than you will with a, like he described, self-described himself as jeans with holes in them or a shirt with holes in it. That's just stupid. That doesn't make any sense at all. Why groom yourself perfectly and go to the gym and do all this if you're gonna look like shit, present like shit. Uh, money does matter, wealth does matter because it, it projects status and status is key and important. So he pre presents a very dystopian type of view of the world, which, I can understand, definitely society has moved in a way that makes it difficult for men, makes it very easy for women to select, to have a bunch of men that are vying for them and that they can get any time and messaging them on social media platforms and whatnot. But, you know, I think one advantage that he leaves out is that because of that, most guys are afraid to go and approach on the street at a nightclub, right? I mean, there's some of that for sure, but majority are not able to do that and so you do have a distinct advantage there. He didn't really go over any kind of really in-depth pickup like you would expect from from a book titled like this. He talked, well one of the things that actually pissed me off <laughs> again and, and I don't think he believes this but maybe he just he is burnt out or whatever it is but he talked about the idea between cold approach and warm approach and he said that he doesn't do cold approach anymore that he recommends doing warm approach and he was talking about how he only starts conversations or opens girls that have already made eye contact with him and showed some kind of interest. And to me, this is that's weak pussy ass shit, uh, to be blunt with you. that That is just weak. Like, <laughs> that's just coward game. I would call that coward game, honestly. He says, oh, I get a higher hit rate and I don't waste my time, I don't get burnt out. And okay, I can kind of get that. But then he's like, you know, basically like look for girls that are around your number, like maybe fours or fives or sixes or whatever, or a sevens and, you know, depending on, and that they're going to show eye contact with you. And if they hold eye contact for a certain amount of time, then you can go in and approach and it's safe. And he talks about using indirect approaches and like, just like really corny, cheesy shit talking about, can I, is there a coffee shop in this area? Like, oh, I don't like that kind of coffee. Back where I come from, like just, man, that is not a good game. It's not a good idea. It's setting the tone into a very non-romantic type of relationship, not a man to woman or interaction. Not a good idea. I, I don't recommend that at all. And I don't think he believes this shit either. So, you know, again, you might say, John, well, who the fuck are you to say something against Rouge V? 
And I, I'm no one. I'm no one to say against that. I just know from my own experience, from my coaching, what works and what doesn't. And I, I, I believe that he's he's full of shit here. I think he he knows what actually works. I think it's a little bit uh, not exactly politically correct to say it today. And so I don't know what kind of game he's playing with this, but maybe path, appealing to the mass audience, maybe he's sick of this shit. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I don't think he believes half the shit that he's saying here. Uh, even though, you know, what he's saying would work for your typical mediocre pussified guy. It's it's going to have better results than what he's doing, but still not a very good plan, not a good good approach. That, that one was probably the biggest thing that I had difficulty swallowing in this book was the whole warm approach method that he was talking about. Uh, there are some other things that he talked about, about uh, as far as physicality and not really using that and like touching and and I'm like, okay, I get it again, but again, you got to be the man, you got to step up, you got to have, you got to use judgment and there is some risk involved, but hey, if you want results, you're going to have to step up and do those kind of things. He went into the whole like thing of like going home and like using all kinds of excuses to, uh, there was some good stuff there where he was like, get five no's and, you know, keep on coming up with, with reasons to go back to your place or her place. And that made sense. I think that, that I, I would say was actually pr some pretty solid advice there. But then he had like the physical escalation and he was like, <laughs> basically like <laughs> asking permission for every single thing. Um, I don't know about that. That's just, and he admitted that it's probably not the best thing, but man, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, it, it's, that's, that's pretty silly. That's pretty silly. So and then he went into the whole relationship aspect, which I think probably made some pretty good sense. Although he was very, very cautious there and very like kind of wounded animal acting very suspicious and, and whatnot. I would say that the way that I would approach it like I, the way that my mindset and his would differ was to, would to become more resilient and stronger to be like ah it doesn't really fucking matter so uh you know what girls are gonna do whatever they're gonna do like there's plenty of them don't worry about like acting such a way to keep this one like just be yourself and just be fine like you know just whatever like you know again when i say be yourself don't interpret it for the like blue pill type of version of that i'm talking about like develop yourself and grow yourself but don't worry about like trying to conform to some behavior pattern that's going to keep the girl or not keep the girl because that to me doesn't make any sense so he did have some decent advice there but again it was very much like a fearful type of advice where i would just say don't fear anything just fucking whatever happens happens doesn't fucking matter like not a big deal you'll move on you'll be fine and he had like all this like oh after a breakup maybe you take two weeks and all this and i don't know <laughs> that was not not exactly uh, what i think is the best advice and then he had some stuff about the travel aspect of it which made sense at the very end of it so i don't know i mean overall i would have to say that i don't recommend the book because i feel like it'll teach you more wrong things than right things and it places very much too high of an emphasis on attraction, on, on being physically attractive. There's definitely some advantages of that. I could do a whole video, guys, telling you, because I've been on both sides of it, what what the actual advantages are. They're not as much as you think. Uh, so <clears throat> there's that aspect of it. And I would say, again, like the, the some of the advice is just just plain bad uh, as far as like the warm approaches versus cold approach i mean he does emphasize the point that cold approach is a useful skill but but then he's talking about doing warm approaches which is kind of like i said the pussified version of that and then you know the dating kind of relationship advice is decent but yeah i, I wouldn't recommend it because i feel like it's going to do you more wrong than than good uh, you know uh, again I, I will say this though because it's possible that you know roosh watched this review because people watch reviews of, of the books I do, and I have nothing against them. I haven't met him. I, if he wanted to come on the channel and justify why he said some of the things in the book, I would totally listen to it. I would totally give him the, the opportunity to defend himself in the platform. So if you're listening, Roosh, you, you're welcome to. Again, I have nothing personally against you. I agree with a lot of the stuff that you said in the book, uh, but there's a lot of it that I don't agree with, and it's fine. We can have a debate about that, or just you can just discuss it. So. Uh, I, I want to leave that open there, just just so that you guys, so I'm being fair, okay? 
So yeah, that's my opinion of it for those of you guys that that were interested in it. Uh, you know, overall, decent book. It's not a, not a bad book, but you just have to be careful, I think, for for you know what, what is your goal, right? And what are you trying to do? He the, overall, I would say that he's presenting a very very jaded view of pickup of the game of the whole community of male female relationships. To some degree, it's justified, but I feel like focusing on how bad things are doesn't help things become better and doesn't help your situation. I'd rather say, okay, this is it. This is what we got. This is how we optimize it and go, and go through that, right? Uh, so, you know, again, what he's saying is probably going to be something that is going to be less risky if you adopt his strategies and you'll have a moderate level of success, but you're definitely not going to get in jail or have false rape accusations against you. Uh, what I would recommend would probably be a more risky approach, would land you a lot better success, but you would be taking more risk. So I'll talk to you next time. Take care.